Hello everyone, this is Danny from Dare to Dream Photography and I just want to show you a quick tutorial on our new Snowscapes actions. They are absolutely fabulous and it's so simple and easy to use. I am using the current version of um, Adobe CC and uh, the new selection tool is actually awesome. They seem to have upgraded a little bit. If you don't have um, CC years in C6 or C5, you can also use the selection tool. Same difference. Um, first we're going to do is we're going to actually run the action. And um, so I think I used th Snow 3 on here. They're all pretty similar. Um, you might want to mess with the scenes. Now you see how uh, crazy, you know, you can't see her. Oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> so um, you can see this is where a lot of my snow is coming from. This also brings in some color. So actually you want to add a mask to this layer and all you have to do is select that and click the mask and there you go. See this little thing down here is your mask. So once I do that, usually what I do is I drop the opacity so I can actually see my person and then I take my quick selection tool and just quickly run over this. Actually, you want to be on the layer. So, and we're going to run this over this real quick. This is a fabulous tool. And what it does is after a while, it starts to learn. And it's a pain in the butt when you first use it because you're like, oh, see what it does? It does crazy things sometimes. But it's actually not so bad. It starts to learn after a while. And I have also learned that if you use a smaller selection tool, it's actually a little bit more accurate. Sometimes the bigger ones kind of mess things up a bit. But I'm just gonna kind of do this quick and simple. You see how it just grabs everything. Pretty good. And then, like I said, I wasn't gonna be being too articulate with this. And then, if you want to go um, see how this little spot down here is, uh, we want to get rid of that. So we're going to put the minus sign and then just bring that in. It does a pretty good job of selecting what I want it to. And then, of course, we have the little hairs. Oh, I'm still on the minus, sorry. All right, there we go. Okay, so we pretty much have what we want. And this is where, actually I shouldn't have put this <laughs> selection. You could do this one of two ways. You can actually hit control delete and that will mask her out or I like to do it the easy way and I just hit the layer then. And so now, when I go like this, it's only at 16% remember. So now when I do that, look, she's in a snow scene. Now, what you might want to do is obviously add one of the snow overlays. So I'm going to actually go to my snowscapes and add a snow overlay for now. Just to show you how to do it, you just go file place. That's what I did. I did file place and just resize to fit your image. And do control screen and we have snow. Now if you're not happy, you don't get enough snow. Sometimes I'm not happy, I don't get enough snow. So I either duplicate the layer to make it stand out more, or um, I added five there, so I think this time I'll add seven. The five, seven, and eight are my favorites, but usually I'm working with a lot of snow, so some of the other ones are a little lighter. And then you just hit this little mark up here, and go control screen and see now we have a lot more snow now as far as the snow goes it's a little bright so you can tone it down so it starts to pull a little bit more of the background in or a little bit more of the color and uh, you can also bring in this color this brings in more color this here so I mean if you did, just want a little snow cover you could do that or you can bring it all the way down like this totally up to you um, you can also add a little bit of a shadow. Sometimes I'll add a shadow, especially on this one. And what I do is, you see how 
this little mass selection has her selected out, if you click that and hold control, it'll actually select her. And then if I go select inverse, it'll just select only her because before it was selecting all of this instead of just her. And then what you want to do is bring up a new layer and I'll put that actually on top of her. Oof. Okay. And I'll make sure that the I want to make sure that my background here is black, and then I hit Control Delete, and that gives me a black mask. And then I deselect, and I go Filter, Blur, Glossian Blur, blur it a little bit, and that's a little bit too much. We just we just want to blur out the edges just a little bit, maybe like nine, ten, something like that. And then we're gonna go Edit Transform flip vertical. And then you just pull this down like this. I'm going to actually make my image smaller, kind of close to where her feet are. And then you want to go, sometimes you can go soft light, it depends, like it's still kind of there, but on this image in particular, since it's white, it doesn't show up as good, so I'm just going to fade it a little bit. Now you can see it. Now I now it's over her feet. We don't want it over her feet. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a mask layer. I use lots and lots of masks. Get used to them. Learn them. They are amazing. So then I take a white or a black brush. Depending on what your mask is, if it's black, you want to use white. If it's white, you want to use black. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to just erase the parts that I don't want. Oops. Make sure my opacity and my flow are all the way up. And then I'll just erase the parts I don't want. Now there's some other little uh, things you can do if, if they don't seem like they're like really fitting in. I actually have an action in my Natural Beauty collection. It's for contouring the face, but it also works amazing for um, if you're doing photo manipulations. I usually do it twice. What I use this for is, it says to use your um, dodge and burn tools. I've actually learned that using this with a uh, just a black or white brush works just fine. So I'm going to create two layers. As you can see, I made two contour layers. One's going to be black and one's going to be white. Or we can also say shadows and highlights. Simple, simple. So what I would do here is I would actually take the brush. I always put the opacity down and the flow down a little bit. And then I just kind of like shade the darker areas a little bit here and there, wherever there might be shade, you know, like under her dress, on the inside of her leg. You know, it kind of just helps to bring them in a little bit so that they're you know, not so stark, and you can even do around their face if you want. I should do around the edge of their face. And then I always do a little blur, a little glossy and blur, depending on what you're looking for. And then lower the opacity. It's a very subtle change, but it makes a big difference. Now this one we're actually going to do white. And, well, actually I did this opposite, sorry. But anyways, this is supposed to be our black, and this is supposed to be our white, but I've got it opposite. So we have white, so now we're just going to shade the areas where it might be white, like on the outside of the arms it might be white, and on the outside of the legs it might be white. And, oops, didn't mean to do that. And maybe a bit on the shoulders, and a bit on the hairline, and a bit by the bow. And then we'll just do another glossy and blur, and uh, lower the opacity. And so you see this snow is all over her face. Now, I've used three snow layers. Now, usually, remember I told you masks. Masks work to erase things or add things. And it's a way so that if you want to go back, you don't have to worry about doing undo, undo, undo. You can just go back to your mask and add it in or remove it. So because I have three, I'm actually just going to go Control-Shift and select them all. And then Control-G to create a group and then add a mask. And then that way, see this is all my snow layers, and then that way I have all my snow. And I'll be able to see her better and what I did or didn't do. 
Now, because we're white, remember, we want to use black to erase. And I'm going to up my opacity in my brush and my flow and erase the parts that I don't want on her head. Now, you see how it's a little black over there? That's actually coming from my shadow layer. So I'm going to actually lower this even more. She doesn't need a whole lot of this. But you get the idea. And you can keep sh shading and highlighting as much as you want. You can also do that if you don't happen to have the um, Natural Beauty Collection. You can always use um, just black or white and do the same thing. It'll just be a lot more stark. And uh, so that's, that's all. That's all there is to it. I mean, what did this take me, like five minutes? And again, you can adjust any of these layers. You can bring out the color a little bit more so it's more stark, or you can bring in. Up to you what you want to do, but look, a snow scene in like 2.2 seconds. I'll show you the before and after again. And here's the after and the before. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much.